Have you ever had one of those aha moments where all of a sudden things just seem to click into place for you? That's what happened to me. I'm Dr. Cynthia Phelps, and this is Six Stories in Six Days, and this is story number four. So it was mid-2012, and I was in a very uncomfortable space. I had already been to rehab for alcohol in 2008, but I was determined to be normal. I was determined to be able to drink, have a beer with colleagues. The problem for me was that it was causing anxiety and depression, and then sometimes it was really hard to stop at just a couple drinks. This was not a good place that I was in, but I was so attached to the idea that I needed to be normal. I was sitting on the couch and I was reading an article about this research, and the research was on self-compassion. And when I understood what self-compassion meant, all of a sudden it was like the clouds parted and I understood myself and my behavior and my thought processes in a way that I never had before. I immediately made the connection that my drinking was self-harming. For some reason, I wasn't able to come to that conclusion before I understood self-compassion and how being kind and supportive and compassionate to yourself can make your life so much better. This was a double revelation because I also realized I had no self-compassion. Like I was not a nice person to myself. <laughs> if you had a friend that said things that I would say to myself in my head, you would have gotten rid of that friend, like giving them the heave ho. When I was reading about this research, I immediately knew that this was the thing that was missing in my ability to live the life that I wanted, to really thrive in life and to give up this thing that has been hurting me for so many years. And, and that was it. From that moment on, I began to throw myself into learning about self-compassion. I read every single research article I could get my hands on at the time, which was something you could do back then. I don't think you could probably do that now. There's so much research out there. But the one of the funny things is that it actually took me a few months before I realized not only was I going to need to learn how to be kind to myself and supportive of myself, but I was actually gonna have to practice it. Like that came three months later where another like a mini epiphany, I actually need to do this. I can't just think about it. And so that's your story for day number four. And if any of this is resonating with you, if you are looking to make a big change in your life, then I would love for you to join me. January 11th, 2024, we're going to be doing a three month training and it is called the gentle path to change and this is going to be a way for us to gently and methodically use the science of behavior change in combination with compassion and mindfulness to be able to craft a path forward of change for you that's going to really work and stick for the long term and you can find out more about it just going to innerally.com. I sure would love to see you in this training.